Am I the Askinoff for giving my sister-in-law three days notice that I would no longer make a cake for her daughter's third birthday after finding out that she and her parents told others my history? I, 28 female, love to bake, and I will often make cakes and stuff for friends, and since I met my in-laws in 2018, for them as well. My sister-in-law asked me to bake her daughter's birthday cake for her birthday this weekend. This was back in October, and we discussed what she wanted in detail. It's not my first time making her cakes, but it is my first time as her sister-in-law officially and where I felt like I was truly part of the family. Three days ago, I was at, out grocery shopping and I ran into a family friend of my in-laws. This person is not someone I like very much. She's a bad gossip and seems to have some malice in her while sharing gossip about others. I try to be polite to everyone and normally I don't talk to her, but she stopped me and went out of her way to ask me when my husband and I are having kids. Then she mentioned me being a foster kid and an affair baby, and she did it in a way that was meant to come across as actual concern, but was really her being intrusive and cruel. She mentioned that my in-laws and sister-in-law were concerned about our kids not having anyone. I told my husband when he got home from work, and I was a mess. It might seem dumb, but I felt like his family betrayed me. They betrayed the trust I put in them, and they did the one thing they were asked not to do, which was tell people my history. It's not something I want to broadcast to everyone who knows me. My husband confronted his parents and sister, and they said they only mentioned it to a few close circle people and that they defended it when my husband said that wasn't OK. Sister-in-law said it's not like people wouldn't find out eventually. And he asked her how they would have found out if we never told them. My history is that both parents were married to others and had children with their other spouses when they had an affair. I was the result. Both sets of first children were technically adults or close to it when I was born. The day before my fifth birthday, we were in the car together and it crashed. My parents died and so did the people in the other car. I was the only survivor and I was in the hospital for a few weeks after. Nobody in either of my parents' families wanted me and I was brought up in foster care the rest of my life. I never found a family. After hearing sister-in-law say what she did and realize how unapologetic they were and hearing how little they cared about what they did to me, I asked if I could speak to sister-in-law for a second and told her not to expect a cake from me after going against what I wanted and having such little care for the harm it caused. She went crazy and said it was only three days until the birthday party and my husband backed me up and said, so what? She and their parents were blowing up his phone so badly he had to block them and I worry that I'm being a bit of an asshole by saying no with such short notice. Am I the Askinaut? OP NTA. Sister-in-law specifically ask on one. This is a truly terrible, evil, evil thing to do to someone. To have no regard for them as a person at all. And this is the best part. This is the best part. I freaking love it. The best part is it is like, I'm going to treat this person like shit. And then ask them for a favor. Of course, because that's how this kind of person works, right? And then whenever she realizes that this person has boundaries, oh, I thought you were just a broken little piece of shit. I'm sorry. I, th I thought I could just treat you however, and you would still do things for me because that's how I was brought up. Whenever OP has boundaries and is like, I'm not doing you a favor since you treated me like shit and ignored my boundaries, then she's flipping out and pretending to be the victim here. That's the game, right? That's the, I love it. I love it when people think that they can treat people like garbage and then still ask them to do favors for them. It's one of the, my favorite things in life. Love it. It is such an immediate indicator of how big of a turd you're dealing with, right? I mean, she's not just a piece of shit. She's a pretty big piece of shit. Pretty big piece of shit. Thank goodness hubby backed you up here because I can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> No wonder OP has issues with telling people about her history, right? I mean, at this point, I think it would just make something up and have that be the story that you tell everybody because you can't trust people because sister-in-law here used it. She weaponized it and broadcast it out there to the exact kind of people you shouldn't be broadcasting it to, to this shitty gossip gossip girl who shows up at the grocery store and is like, mm, hey, I just want to let you know that I know your shit. I'm concerned, but not really concerned. I just want you to know that I know your shit. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be okay, hon? You know, because of all the really bad shit that happened to you that I'm not supposed to know about, that I know about now. Mm. All of them. Boop, 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 boop. The whole family. Gone. 
Uh, I think I would be raising some walls immediately with the family. I think it seems like OP's partner here is willing to do that as well uh, because he realizes how fucked up it is too. That is the fact that you have somebody like that in your life that will stand by you even against their own family when they know that you've been wrong is huge. OP celebrate that, that you have this person Um, and silo yourself if necessary, because people who do, who cause harm, when in close proximity to you relationship wise, don't get to enjoy that proximity anymore. We talk about this with our kids too. We're like, Hey, Hey, hey. <laughs> if you're close with someone and they harm you, if they abuse that proximity, why would you still give them proximity? Why would you still give them the ability to do damage? If they've shown you that they're willing to do damage, those people don't get to be close to you anymore. Boop. Certainly not close enough to ask you for favors like making a cake. And yeah, it sucks that it's a three-year-old's birthday party and it sucks that it's a cake. But sister-in-law should have thought all about all that shit before treating someone this poorly. And she can't say shit about it now because it is her own doing. Yeah, maybe this is enough pain for her to change her ways. I highly doubt it. So what would it have to be? 